Ember gets a speed boost with Glimmer, and we explore new forms of storytelling for the collective intelligence. I'm Rob Dotson, this is LazyWeb. Ember's new rendering engine Glimmer is now in Canary. Inspired by React's virtual DOM, Glimmer attempts to improve upon things by only diffing bindings instead of the entire DOM. According to the team, this dramatically improves performance on benchmarks like DB Monster. You can follow this guide to learn more about migrating to Glimmer in Ember 2.0. Let's explore storytelling for the collective intelligence. Sonango Akpem, creator of the Pixel Fable project, describes the process of creating nonlinear stories utilizing modern technology. He codifies and demonstrates several examples, including extra narratives like An Idea Lives On, parallel narratives featured in Project Moon, and micro narratives illustrated by his own site, Lost Nigeria. Do websites need a diet? Scott Gell tweets that the average web page now weighs over 2 megabytes, with 62% of that coming from images. Projects like What Does My Site Cost demonstrate this can translate to serious money for users. New standards like Picture and Source Set can help combat the problem, but it's up to developers to start leveraging them. Firefox 38 hit stable this week, and with it comes a number of improvements. Best highlighted on the Mozilla Hacks blog, the new release contains support for both Picture and Image Source Set, Web Sockets in Web Workers, broadcast channel to post message to all open tabs, and some bonus DevTools goodies. You can check out the developer release notes over on MDN. Chrome on Android now has a dev channel. Detailed on the Chromium blog, the new dev channel allows developers to test their site using an early version of Chrome to find bugs and try out cutting edge features. The new channel is updated at least every week and is already available on the Google Play Store. Programmatic copy and paste is coming to Firefox. A recent intent to implement and ship thread indicates that Firefox will add support for copy and paste via the exec command method in response to a user action. Similar behavior is already supported in Chrome 43, IE 10, and Opera 29. To learn more about copy and paste, you can check out this article on HTML5 Rocks. That's it for this week, folks. Take a deep breath, enjoy the visuals, and to all you lazy webbers out there, thanks for watching.